very good. Welcome. I'm from Montgomery County, Maryland, and I'm here representing the Child Care Subsidy Program. I want to thank you so much for taking the time to listen to my story today. Um, for the past three years, I've worked for Albert Education and Training. This is an agency um, that works partnering with Montgomery County to help the low-income and middle-income families, people with no jobs, to help them um, towards self-sufficiency by helping them retain jobs and um, improve their financial uh, situation. One of their goals is to connect these parents to the child care subsidy program. That's how they're able to gain training and also um, improve their work skills. But my story doesn't begin here. In the early winter of early 2009, my lifestyle has changed drastically. I went from being a married woman with um, securities to being a single mother with a nine-month-old child, and I had to face a decision between uh, choosing between re residing in a homeless shelter or sleeping on the cold streets of Maryland, and that was a wake-up call for me. So my first stop was to the local state agency where I went to apply for housing. Then I found out about the temporary cash assistance program funded by the federal government also. So I asked them what it was. When they told me um, to get financial assistance, you have to participate with Arbor 40 hours a week, and we will actually give you uh, assistance with childcare. So I signed up immediately because I was willing to work, I was able to work, and I wanted a better life for myself and especially for my child. So I signed up and I got um, assistance to the federal program for childcare subsidy. In doing so, I had peace of mind I was able to actually um, go for interviews. I was able to attend workshops to increase my um, work, my work skills, and a huge part of that was also from my caseworkers encouraging me to keep going. I got a great job through my hard work. I had to work hard, traveling one and a half hours back and forth from my shelter to my training program and to job interviews. But it paid off because I became that caseworker who is now giving encouraging words to other um, citizens of this country. I, I got a good job because I was able to focus on um, my job interviews and everything through gaining assistance from the child care program. Let's ask ourselves a question. You cannot go for an interview with holding your baby's hand and she's holding her stuffed toy, you know? No employer will see you as a reliable person. But I had the peace of mind to go out knowing that my child was safe, she was secure, and the government was helping me with this. I just needed a few months um, to get financial assistance. Even when I found a job, I still got assistance for a few months to help me be financially stable. Now my child is four, she is thriving, and um, to be honest, I'm always grateful for my access to early childhood education, and that's why she's going on her journey to success. to do more 
we all want to do more, but we can't. On Monday, I had a parent in my office, and she cried for almost two hours. And I had to just let her stay and cry her tears out. But there's nothing we could do to help her. These are the low-income, middle-income families who really want to improve themselves, and there's no assistance for them. So these federal investments were a quite serious lifeline for me, and I know it has been for a lot of low-income families out there. I know where I came from. I do not want to go back. And um, I'm thinking we really cannot pull subsidy from under families like mine and under families that I talk to on a daily basis. I want to thank you, Senator Harkin, for being a champion for children through your legislation. I want to thank you, all members of Congress and senators who are here today. Um, members of Congress need to hear from us, people like me, people from, like you, who are working hard to take care of our children and struggling, living paycheck to paycheck, unable to pay, pay for services like childcare. Most of my clients end up losing their jobs because they don't have help with the childcare section. This isn't just about budget spreadsheets, it's about real children, children like mine, who are in childcare facilities, and also for parents like me, single parents, who are working hard to take care of our children.